Hey folks, and welcome to something I wanted to show you for a very long time already, but it kept getting delayed partly due to the plague and partly to me not wanting to do it for on my own for the first time. And, you know, a little bit of laziness chucked in there as well. But uh, finally, it's more or less complete. It's not uh, perfect, since it is the first uh, try, uh, the first time ever doing it, but still, it's finally done. And now I'm going to show you it. Uh, you probably already saw what it is thanks to the title, but still, uh, just a second, let me uh, fix that. Sorry about that noise. All right. And here we go, <laughs> as you probably read in the title, this is a Hellboy nest, uh, wait, nesting Russian doll, right? Russian, Russian nesting doll, sorry, Russian nesting doll. <laughs> so this is a Hellboy Russian nesting doll, <laughs> or as we call it, uh, Babushka, Babushka, and oh, no, sorry, we call it Matryoshka. But, uh, well, here in Israel, I heard it, re it referred to as Babushka. And in other places as well. So, I don't even remember how it started. I wanted to... I can't remember how I got the idea to want to do a Babushka. Or a, a Russian nesting doll. I mean, not, not make one, but draw on one. But it started last year. I bought this, uh, the, the doll itself, on Amazon. I got it, uh, and then I uh, told my art teacher about it, and we started working on it, but then the plague hit, and for months, me and her didn't have any lessons, <coughs> sorry, didn't have any lessons, and I didn't want to do this on my own for the first time. I wanted her to <laughs> guide me through it. So then when we could resume lessons, we did, but you know, still it kept getting delayed because there was quarantine, and then the quarantine was, you know, they lifted it, and then again, and again, and again, it never ends. <laughs> now as well. I haven't seen her for a month now as well. Eh, what are you gonna do? But anyway, we finally finished it, and then the last thing that needed to be done was uh, some uh, laka, or I hope I'm saying it right in English, laka, the, the shiny thing, the, the thing, the, 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 what gives it the shine, the laka. And that was a bit difficult because um, my dad uh, knew a place where he could go do it, but then again, the plague, and they closed down, and uh, we bought some cans at home <coughs> to do it, but oh, do they stink, and they make my grandma feel uh, unwell. Dad did it one time, and then last week he did it again, and that's it. That's the last time we're going to do it at home. Because I don't want to upset grandma again and make her feel bad. So, however they're sprayed with laka is how they're going to be, unfortunately. Uh, well, well, not so unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, when I ever attempt this again, uh, I might try to buy the laka that you can paint on. Maybe that'll stink less. Possibly, since it won't be a spray and it won't be in the air. But we'll see. Anyway, so this is my uh, my Hellboy uh, Russian nesting doll right here. Now I did think of as you know Russian nesting dolls. How they work is um, you know each one is uh, oh sorry I got to silence my phone. As it works, uh, you know each one like the tiniest one has less details, and then you go to the biggest one that has most detail. So I thought of what to do for Hellboy because I didn't want him to look too much the same all the time, just less detailed. I wanted to do something uh, else. Give me a moment, I'll open it. Get on right. All right, so that's the big one. That's okay. So this is him, and this is his baby. So what I thought of doing was um, let Hellboy be. Uh, I'm definitely. Y you might see you. You might see a cut here. I'll just cut out me struggling to put them on to save time. So what I thought of doing was I'll make Hellboy in his stages of life. You know, the smallest one here is gonna be the baby Hellboy. There you see, he's got his little smile, and he's all wrapped up and adorable. 
and then, uh, you know, all the stages in between, and then the last Hellboy would be him, you know, what would be a great finish to the cycle? It would be Hellboy being a dad himself. So there we go, we got Kid Hellboy, right here, look at him, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> there he is, and on the back I'll show you the, the, wait, the tails. That was a bit of color smudge there. Like I said, this, uh, oh, there we got his little tail here. So, like, on, on the smallest ones, I really needed my teacher to help me, because I, I, I struggle with such small details. My fingers, uh, the kids start to shake. There we go, this is him. Still is a little kid. And you got the tail. Okay, you got his bit of his tre trench coat. Wait, oops. Sorry, guys. As you can see, these these constantly whoop, fall. I God damn it! Come on, Hellboy, work with me. All right. Next, we got this one. We started adding the belt. Still, he's got his little tail. There we go. Here he has the symbol of the BPRD. Uh, and here he has a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to draw details on these things just because... Uh, they're not, you know, they're suddenly round. There we go. That says bonnet in the back. And I'll give you a close-up of the little baby. So this is Hellboy's baby. Uh, I thought, you know, we'd have, um... Because Hellboy's eyes are... Well, here they're round, so... We gave his baby eyes like that. He's got his little pacifier. <laughs> those eyebrows. <laughs> He's all wrapped up in his nappy. So, <laughs> there we go. So that's my uh, Hellboy Babushka. Or the uh, Russian nesting doll. Uh, after all this time, I'm glad I finally finished it and I can finally show it to you. It's been, uh, it's been a long process. Hopefully in the... Well, not hopefully, but in the future, I'll... Uh, I'll do it better. I won't do another Hellboy, though. I'll try something else, but yeah, this is the Hellboy. Alright, now I'll show you the other stuff I made as well. I'll, yeah, I'll keep the Hellboys in frame and start putting them down and it will fall. So, the, uh, so then my teacher uh, also bought me a flat uh, Russian nesting doll, as you can see. It's the same, but it's just flat. So you got the shape of it. Now this I did all by myself. I thought, you know what, I'm going to make a Batman out of it. It's a bit of quite a poorly done Batman, I'm afraid. Didn't turn out so well. You see here, it's missing a bit of lacquer, but uh, what are you going to do? It's going to be like that. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not the best looking. I really should have thought of doing it a bit differently. The thing is, I wanted to make a line here to, you know, show you where his face is and where his ears are. Because normally Russian nesting dolls, they wear, um, uh, wait, what do you call it? They wear a scarf, you know, around the, on their head, and then they tie it under the chin. So, yeah, and then he got his, his belt. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. It's really not the best. It's a bit poorly made, but what are you going to do? At least, uh, at least it's complete. I just wanted to try it. It was, though, easier than doing the round ones, because it's, it's flat. It's much easier. And, okay, the last thing here is this. Uh, this is an old hairbrush I had that broke. My hair is so strong, the hairbrushes just break. What are you going to do? So I thought of drawing something on it. I thought of making a hole here to hang it, but it's probably something that's best to do when you start the process. So it's a bit late for that. I can see here some things got stuck to it, but uh, I want to give this to my uh, one of my best friends. I was gonna give it to her on the New Year's, but it wasn't finished yet. I think it's more or less uh, well with Laka. You know, it's not again, it's not perfect. It's, uh, first time, 
doing it. Next time, you should really go to somewhere where they know how to do this properly and they have better surfaces for this. But yeah, this is, uh, this is about it. I actually redid this. It looked different. I did the stars by hand, but it, it, it doesn't look good. They're too clunky and big. And it, it's best to... Well, what you do is you take the, the paintbrush, you put some water and color on it, and then you put it on top, on top of whatever you're, you're working on. And you take another uh, paintbrush and you... Uh, knock on it like i guess like how you do with drumsticks and then it spreads the uh the paint and it looks very very well i can see it looks like a lovely night sky and then you got a sunset sunrise whatever whatever you want to see it as all right and so that's that <laughs> all right i'm glad i finally got to show you all of this i do have to try more I mean, not hope. I, I do want to try more uh, things in the future. We'll see when, though. Woodworks are probably going to have to wait a bit. Not going to get right back to it right now. But yeah, that's my uh, Hellboy Babushka. I just got to think what I'm going to do with Batsy. <laughs> I don't know. Eh, I'll probably keep him. It is what it is. All right, so that is it. Um... They say if you don't see the video, this will be also on Instagram later. I will uh, take a photo. All right, so that is it, folks. Uh, thank you for watching, or whoever did, and um, hopefully you'll see an edit uh, here as well. All right, now remember, collect what you're passionate about and share it on YouTube. And remember, Hellboy is fucking awesome. Bye.